musicians that played there. And also it became a social area for African-American musicians. I remember strolling up and down Claiborne Avenue with my grandmother to shop. On Carnival Day, people would come from all over the country. You had this constant flow of baby dolls, second lines, Mardi Gras Indian, that was going all around Claiborne Avenue and this, this partying and music for like 15 blocks. They all come into Claiborne Avenue, right? There were a lot of black-owned businesses. Black folks from all over the Southeast region came to Claiborne Avenue because it was that spot. It really saved us from the horrors of segregation. There was, there was no need to go downtown to be embarrassed. It just woke up and they were these bulldozers just tearing down trees. We had a very uh, socially and economically healthy neighborhood. And then the interstate came and that just gradually killed the economics. It eviscerated the area. 326 black owned businesses were closed to build the interstate. I mean, where are 326 black owned businesses anywhere in the city? There was between 160 and 200 oak trees that were uh, destroyed. If you look between Claiborne and Canal, they're on and off ramps. So those were houses. So they were immediately gone. Over time, you could see more and more and more decline. After the interstate decimated the, uh, the community, Treme has not been the same. The Claiborne Quarter has been a place of celebration in New Orleans uh, for many, many years. This part of the city is the heart of our most beloved traditions of what makes New Orleans New Orleans. This is where jazz was born. This is where black mask and Indian traditions and second line traditions were born and grown. We thought in addition to our desire to document that history, it was also important to give it a point of reference that whatever happens to Claiborne Avenue moving forward, that they build on that history. But it's also very important to tell it through the eyes of the residents. We want to gather all those voices and get them on camera um, while their memories are alive and well. How can you afford to lose your history? If you lose your history, you've got no future. The days I have remaining, I'm grateful to be able to share it with anyone who's willing to listen. There is no reason why people in neighborhoods of color can't have a nice place to live. And, and I truly believe that it's possible. We have to work at it, we have to work at equity, but we can have our nice place back. <laughs>